Hello friends, this video on triangles part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's take one more activity. We draw a triangle and just any triangle, scalar triangle, equilateral triangle, any triangle you can draw, right angle. You'll observe that sum of any two sides is greater than the third side. So if let's take this is A, B and C. You can measure it with the ruler. You see that if you just add these two sides, AB plus BC. That will be greater than third side AC. If you add AB to AC, that will be greater than BC. If you add BC to AC, that will be greater than, equal, greater than AB. This is something which you can observe. You can try on your own, draw any triangle, any kind of triangle you can draw, equilateral triangle, skeleton triangle. You will observe that sum of any two sides is greater than third side. This is the theorem actually. Sum of any two sides of a triangle is greater than the third side. And let's try to prove it. So let's take any triangle. Okay. If this triangle be ABC. So let's appear to prove that AB plus AC is greater than BC. Do this. Let's draw. Let's draw AD. We'll extend this in direction AD such that AD is equal to AC. This is AC. Same length, I'll draw AD. Okay? We will draw this AD. And this is D. So that AD is equal to AC. Okay, so what is AB plus AC? So I have to prove that AB plus AC is greater than BC. And AB plus AC is what? AC is what? Replace AC with AD. AD. And that is nothing but BD. Right? BD. AB plus AC is nothing but AB plus AD. That is BD. So we have to prove that, so we have to prove that AD is greater than BC. That is what we have to prove. Now since this, these, uh, these lines, this AB, AC is equal to AD, this is angle 1 and this, let's suppose this is angle 1 dash and they both will be equal. Angle 1 is equal to angle 1 dash, right? Because ADC is an isosceles triangle and AC is equal to AD. Now to prove that AD is equal to AD is greater than BC, let's see AD. Sorry. This is BD. To prove that BD is greater than BC, this is BD and this is BC. So angle opposite to BD is what? This angle. And angle opposite to BC is what? This angle. Let's name this. Let's name this B. Let, let this be 2. So to prove this, we have to prove that angle opposite to BD is what? Angle BCD. That is in triangle BDC. Okay. BCD, angle opposite to BD, should be greater than BC. That is BC, that is angle BDC. Angle BDC. All these names are confusing, so let's put these numbers. BCD is nothing but angle 2 plus 1 dash. Should be greater than what is BCD? BCD is nothing but angle 1. And that is true. Why? Because if you see angle 1 dash is nothing but angle 1 is nothing but angle 1 dash. So angle 2 plus angle 1 dash is greater than angle 1 dash. That is true. Right? If you see, if you solve this, angle 2 is greater than 0. That is true. Angle 2 is always greater than 0 in this case. It has some value. Thus, it is proved that AB plus AC is greater than BC. Okay? So D is a point on the side BC of this triangle ABC such that AD is equal to AC. So we have to prove that AD is greater than AD. And here AD is equal to AC that is given. Right? So we have to prove whether AB is greater than AC or we have to prove that AB is greater than AD. Okay, so let's put some numbers here. AD is equal to AC given. So let this be angle 1, this be angle 2, and angle 1. Get this number. So this is angle 
3, this is like 4, this is 5, and this is 6, just for convenience. So to prove that AB is greater than AC or AB is greater than AD, so let's take AB is greater than AC. So to prove that AB, to prove AB is greater than AC, so we have to prove what AB is what? Angle opposite to AB is angle 2 is greater than angle 4. That is what we have to prove. Okay. So let's see what is angle 1 and angle 2. They are equal. We know. So angle 1 is equal to what? Angle 1 is equal to angle 4 plus angle 5. Angle 2 is equal to what? Angle 2 is also equal to angle 1. So I can say that angle 2 is nothing but angle 4 plus angle 5. Right? And with this, I can say that angle 2 is greater than angle 4. Can't I? Because angle 2 is 4 plus 5. That means angle 2 is greater than angle 4. And that is what I have to prove. So angle 2 is greater than angle 4. That means AB is greater than AC. And that implies AB. See, we went, we did the reverse engineering. AB was greater than AD, you know, AD is equal to AC. That means AB is greater than AC, we have to prove. So we have to prove AB is greater than AC, that means we have to prove angle 2 is greater than angle 4, which is something we knew. Then we started from the backward direction. Angle 1 is nothing but angle 4 plus 5, and angle 1 is equal to angle 2, so angle 2 is nothing but angle 4 plus 5, and that means angle 2 is greater than angle 4, and then both the conclusions are meeting, so we just went ahead to prove that AB is greater than You have to show that in the right triangle, the hypotenuse is the longest side. So, in the right triangle, you have to show that let's say this is the right triangle and AB is the hypotenuse. So, you have to prove that AB is the longest. See, this is 180, this is x, and this is y. Let's say, right? So, if you add these angles, x plus y plus this angle, 90 degree, total angle is 180 degree. So, x plus y is and this angle is already 90. So this is the maximum angle, right? So therefore, angle C is max. Right? You can't have angle more than 90 degree in this case. Because some of these angles is 90 degrees. It has to be less than 90 degree. Each. Since angle C is max, therefore, AB is max. Right? Side opposite to the maximum angle is the longest. And AB is nothing but hypotenuse. Thus, we can prove that the hypotenuse is the longest side in the right angle triangle. Okay. Side AB and AC of a triangle are extended to point P and Q respectively. So this is triangle ABC. Sides AB and AC are, are extended to point P and Q. Okay. PBC is less than QCB. Where is PBC? This is PBC is minus angle 1. QCB angle 2. So it is given that Angle 1 is more than angle 2. Easier for understanding. So we have to prove that AC is greater than AB. And let's mark this as angle 3 and angle 4. So we need to prove AC is greater than AB. What is the angle opposite to AC? Angle 4 is greater than angle 3. That is, we have to prove. Right? And what is given? Given as angle 1 is less than angle 2. You see, the relationship between angle 1 and 4, 1 and 4 is 180, 3 and 2 sum is 180. So what we can do is, let's play around. Angle 1 is less than angle 2, let's move this from this side, this from this side. So with this you get angle 1 minus of angle 1 is greater than minus of angle 2. Correct? So you put minus sign here, let's change, change the sign. Or you put 180 degree minus sign. 180 degree minus angle 1 is greater than 180 degree minus angle 2. And what is 180 degree minus angle 1? 180 degree minus angle 1 is angle 4. Angle 4 is greater than angle 3 because 180 degree minus angle 2 is angle 3. So if angle 4 is greater than angle 3, which implies AC is greater than angle 3. And that is fine. This is our rough. Pretty easy because these angles relations are given. You can easily find the relation between this angle. So 
once you find the relationship between this angle, you can actually comment on the relationship between the sides AC and AB. Okay. So angle B is greater than angle A. Where is angle B? Is greater than angle A. Let me put some numbers here. One, two, three, four. B is greater than A. Where is B? Angle two is less than angle one. C is less than B. C is what? Angle three is less than angle one. I have to prove that AD is less than BC. AD is less than BC. See what is AD? AD is AO plus one. So I have to prove AD is less than BC. What is AD? AD is AO plus one. Is less than BC is nothing but BO plus one. If I can prove these, these uh, relations, I can add this, that's all the purpose. So let's try to do that. Angle 1 is less than angle 2. What relation I get? Angle 1 is less than angle 2. So, sorry, angle 2 is less than angle 1. Angle 2, opposite is AO, this is AO. And angle 1, opposite is BO. Right? So I can angle BOA. From this, I can get this. Similarly, 3 is less than 4, 3 and 4. So opposite. Side opposite to angle 3 is OD and 4 is OC. Now if you add these two equations, equation 1 and equation 2, what you get is AO plus OD is less than BO plus OC. So AO plus OD is AD and BO plus OC is BC. And then this. Okay. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality educational videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot.